Welcome back everybody. This is called Houston we have a problem. So a pretty bad storm came through at the cabin at the lake home and there's trees down the power was out for four days and we are going up to start cleanup. Supposedly it's a war zone. So Paige and David got there last night so they're hanging out and uh, Lori and I are almost there and we are going to start clean up tomorrow morning. We'll go out for dinner first and then work on it tomorrow all day. So lots of trees down, roofs damaged. So thank God nothing hit the pontoon, but it's all good. Just got some work to do. Got an insurance claim. I don't think I've ever had a homeowner's insurance claim before. First one for me. Lost a lot of trees. Oh my, oh my. Got some work ahead of us. Lots of trees down everywhere. Holy moly. Oh well, what you gotta do. All right, so we had a little windstorm damage at the cabin. See, this one's laying on the ground. There's one. Check out these. There's three down right there. One right beside it is snapped. There's three more down here. There's a root to that one. Root to that one. These ones got snapped right off by straight line winds. These are big, huge spruce trees. You can way back there in the field too. That snapped off. We're gonna have some firewood for a while. Um, I'm gonna go over and show you what happened to the canoe. So the power company came and cut that one because it was by the wire. And it used to be on the back of this pontoon motor, but I see nothing hit there. But this one is broken. This tree right here is down. And if you come far enough, underneath all that's a canoe. So we see the gunnels bent. I don't know if they're gonna cover that with insurance. Oh yeah, she's crushed in good. So I'm hoping I can get a new canoe out of that. Crushed in. I can't get in there real good, but we're going to cut it. We're just waiting for the adjuster to show up before we cut it, so. Another spruce down there. That broke off. It's on the ground right there by the paddle port. And that one of those kayaks was way up in the driveway where I started. Blew all the way up there. And this canoe was down by the lake and blew all the way up here, so. All right, so now the here's the garage. In the driveway, this one blew down. And hence this one blew down. You see that one right there blew down. Snapped off the top of that one back there. And that is now laying on the neighbor's yard. Check this one out. This one is a big tree, man. It's gonna take me a long time to cut all these ones up. There's the root ball of the one that's furthest up in the garage. Holy Look at this stuff, you guys. This is damaged. All this blew down. Tops of those trees came off. Look at the size of that. It's a hundred year old plus spruce tree right there laying right here. Came down on right there. The worst part is Lori's gonna be mad. Came down on her clothesline. Now what's she gonna do? Huh. She's gonna cry a tear. So the neighbors have got the same issues. Trees are down everywhere. That one right there. All right, so we got some work to do. The roof is shot. They're coming out to adjust that soon. But look at the size of that pine right there. That's right on the edge of the lake. That's some wind to snap that thing off. Right there, it snapped it off. Whew, that took some power. So cool, that's our damage. We're gonna address it with the adjuster and insurance company, that's why you pay insurance, right? So pretty cool. We're working it all day tomorrow. All you hear is chainsaws going everywhere. Here's our roof. Shingles all peeled up all along it. Damage look maybe to the chimney too. Looks like some brick flew off. That and Dave picked up most of the shingles and put them in the wheelbarrow right there so let's see what the adjuster says when he gets here everybody's pitching in helping 
That's a big tree there we got to get yet. Paige is picking stuff up. David's limbing that whole tree right there. He's about three quarters done. I was doing the brush piles out by the coal barn, so or by the garage there, so. We're getting her done. There's a lot more damage. This is just the most obvious stuff right in the yard. So we'll get to the other stuff tomorrow. This is just a get started on this, leave this here till the adjuster gets here. I'm gonna leave the tall part of it till the adjuster gets here. So. Just brush it up and limb it up. So that's where we're at. A lot of chainsaws going off today. A lot of damage around the lake. We cut and stacked brush for about two hours today. Got as much as we're going to do until the adjuster shows up. But you know what? Still a beautiful day in northern Minnesota. One guy out fishing. He's always out. He's a diehard. I don't fish this lake much in the winter time, but not in summer. Should, I don't. Too many crappies and walleyes to be caught. Or excuse me, perch and walleyes to be caught at the fishing shack, so. We're gonna hang out today. The goal tomorrow is to change the oil on the pontoon, upper and lower, or motor oil and the lower unit, and then put it in the water. Mow the grass and have fun. Go for a nice bike ride. So we'll see you folks in the morning. We're going to bed. Been a long day. Well, good morning, everybody. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I got woken up to an eagle in a tree up above my bedroom, screeching as they screech in the morning. Now I see him, he's over in a tree to my left. It's another beautiful day. Birds are singing. Just heard a turkey gobble. Hopefully you heard that. Seems to be late in the season for turkey gobbles. June.
All right, today is a very special day. Very, very special. We have visitors. We have Re Piper, Rebel, and Riley. And we're gonna start mowing, and we're gonna start prepping the pontoon to launch it today. That's our goal. Change the oil, upper and lower units, and launch it. Just talked to the neighbor who's going to let us rent his pontoon lift. And then we're off and running. Plus, so here's our special moment. All the families together. And here you haven't seen this yet, but we have a new baby. Mom and I are grandbabies. This is Wren. And Paige got her to sleep right away. Calmed her down and she's fast asleep. How old, Dry? Ten weeks. Ten weeks old. So, you heard me say a hundred times, it's a beautiful day. But this, blue skies, calm winds, families all together, my new, new granddaughter's here, First time at the cabin, so it truly is a beautiful day. Look at that. Whew. All right, end of a Saturday. We got the pontoon in. That was an adventure. We had to run all the way in to Brainerd to get the wrench for the oil filter, which would not come off. So we had to go buy an oil filter wrench. It took us three hours to change the oil. Motor oil and lower unit oil. But we got it done. It was just a little bit more of an adventure than we planned on. But it's sitting right there ready to go the next time we come up. Hopefully we'll go for an adventure tomorrow morning. We're not going to go for one tonight. Tomorrow morning we'll go for one. What a beautiful day. Good morning, everyone. It's about 5 a.m. Birds are singing. Dogs had to go out, so I got up. Wren woke up. So Lori's trying to get Wren back to sleep. Our beautiful gold granddaughter. Up at the cabin for the first time. Today will be your first maiden pontoon ride. Another beautiful day. All right, it's our virgin pontoon ride of the year. We have Joy, oh, we got a baby. Riley, Rebel, right there. David. We have Grandma turned away. She doesn't want to be seen. We have the Rager, Pager Rager. Piper. And for the very first time, we have Wren and Eric. Wren was asleep. Grandma got her asleep, but now 
she's decided that she's not into pontoon rides, but she'll fall asleep. Give it to Grandma. Grandma will carry her out. There's an eagle on top of that dead tree, too. Alright, we just saw six bald eagles. One there, there's one in that tree right there, there's plus, there. plus three back there. Three back fly. here. Flying around, I don't know if I got them or not, but lots of eagles, six eagles on the lake right now. Oh, well, there's two fighting with each other. End of another adventure. Family cleaned up after the windstorm. Straight line wind damage. Um, got the pontoon in after changing the oil. That was a show. Six, three hours of that. So we're ready to go, and uh, everybody's on their way home. Another great weekend at the cabin with the entire family. Hello, Ren. Our very first pontoon ride. Pretty awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate it a lot. Subscribe if you like. Thank you much.